we're going to be chatting to you just for the next minute or two about our new article in Crystal, which is entitled Reimagining Academic Identities in Response to Research Demands at Universities of Technology. Our article is a conversation with an article published in Crystal um, last year, which was written by James Garraway and Chris Winberg. And in it, they called for a reimagination of the universities of technology. There's been shifts within the, the, the culture of University of Technologies and mostly what this paper looked at is the shift that this expectation has on academics and their identities within the higher education landscape, uh, but more specifically within universities of technology. And from those universities of technology, we engaged with uh, academics to explore the discourses that they use to position themselves and to actually uh, construct their identities within the UOTs. Research was generally discussed by all 15 participants, not as an ongoing integral part of one's identity as an academic or of one's job description, but rather as a postgraduate qualification, a qualification that academics were now um, required to achieve in order to sustain their job security. And there was a general consensus that the workload made it exceptionally hard for these academics to undertake this requirement to um, complete postgraduate qualifications. This led us to an understanding of the intersection between the culture of these institutions and this pressure to do research. It was evident that the high degree of managerialism in universities of technology was a, was a constraint on these academics' postgraduate journeys. And this certainly echoes what Garraway and Winberg discussed in their paper. The, the, the institutions are now valuing um, qualifications from the academics instead of their practical and, and experience. In the technical era, the valued knowledge was the professional experience and professional um, relationship that lecturers had with their industries and uh, how much they were able to contribute um, to that actual profession. And those particular technical era academics are now feeling as novices within these uh, this cultural landscape that they find themselves in. Whereas they were the experts in the technical era, they have now become novices uh, in the UOT era because they do not possess the qualifications and publications that are valued within the academic community that has emerged from the, the redesignation and the emergence of UOT. This paper does really hope to contribute to the larger conversation with regards to academic identities and the reimagined future of UOTs.